We didn't just wake up and call to the banks. There were quite a number of issues that put pressure on us to actually seek clarity on how the banks were working. Okay. And you confirm that you were part of the delegation that met with the banks? I led all the delegations that met with the banks. Who were the other members of the, of the delegation? Uh, in the delegation, we had Jesse Duarte, who, who is the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, and we had Ino Kodongwane, who is the Chairperson of the Economic Transformation Committee of the ANC, and of course we were supported by uh, uh, Krish Naidu uh, as a legal person in the ANC. Yes. Bank accounts uh, of Oak Bay in particular it was a topical matter which was in the public domain. Uh, there was a lively public discussion on it and there were quite a number of pressure points on the ANC. The first one is that Oak Bay itself came to the ANC mainly emphasizing the possibility of the loss of jobs. That's what appealed to us. Uh, the other issues were not a major pressure point. Secondly, many of the uh, black business, particularly BBC, did put pressure on us to say this is a precedence that is actually dangerous to black business. But uh, if you look into this, you will see that there were quite a number of structural meetings of the ANC that took formal decision on how to deal with the matter. And how, how many meetings did you, did you, did you held with, um, with Oak Bay? Come again. How many meetings? Um, Was it only one meeting or did you have no, we had a more than one? With Oak Bay. We had two. There were two meetings of Oak Bay. First of all, because they wanted to convince us on their case where they even look into their structure as a company, how difficult it is for them to get licenses when they've applied. Then they came to this issue of all the banks having refused to do business with them. And therefore, impossible to have a transactional bank that would process their payments, including payments of salaries. Yes. And in the second meeting? That is, the second meeting was more emphasizing on the closure of accounts. The first one was more outlining what is the structure of the company, how it works. What intervention did they seek, you know, from the, from the ANC? Actually, many of the organizations they lobbied was to put pressure on the banks uh, to reopen their accounts. And they actually thought that we'll join that campaign as the ANC. It, that is Oak Bay. <coughs> that is Oak Bay. Okay. And what did they, what, what, I mean, how did they, the ANC deal with this request which was made by o Oak Bay? The, the, the ANC dealt with it in a very simple way. One, we met Oak Bay. Number two, we did get a report from internal, particularly that government was dealing with the same matter. We took a decision that, listen, we can't deal with this issue from one angle. We need to get uh, the views of the banks, how do they operate, what leads to the closure of an account. And when we got that information, only then could we take a decision. 